All right, guys, we're out here today. We got a tip on an old GMC dump truck for my buddy over here. So we just loaded it up, drove two hours down to come check it out. Uh, the deal is if we can get it running and driving and get it off the guy's property, we can have it for free. So definitely didn't want to pass up on the opportunity, but uh, we just got here. Here's the old unit here. Do a little look on it. The old GMC. A little crusty. She's got the old big block V6 in her, so that's pretty cool. Um, she's a little crusty. Window has been left down. Um, squirrels. Squirrels, yeah. Squirrels have been living in there. But if we look at the frame, the frame is pretty solid. It's got a little, little rust, a little scale. It's been sitting there for approximately 15 years the guy said um it's got air brakes and i think it may have a two-speed rear end i'm not sure um dump bed could use a little work looks like there's a mouse nest inside there oh that's not safe to hold on to um Exhaust system is completely optional. Um, let's see here. Big old leaf springs under there. <sighs> Looks like it used to be a county truck. Um, door handle is legitimately gone. But, it's a pretty neat unit. We figured we'd come out here, try to start the thing, see if we have any luck. Um, hood latch should be here somewhere. Um, maybe. How'd you get this thing open last time? Pull it back or forward? Oh, wow. Look at her. Yeah. Big old generator on the old girl. Six cylinder. Got a few acorns. I don't know. I think she's going to run. What do you guys think? I think it'll run. You think it'll run? You can see clean into the cab, the whole firewall is gone. So that's cool. I think we'll be driving her by the end of the day. What do you think? <laughs> Take her for a test burn down the driveway at least. That might be a... The sheet metal is essentially gone. Um, yeah, well, we're gonna get some tools out, get some things set up here, um, do a little initial assessment, and then we'll be back with you guys and we'll see uh, See, we can't check a few things on this before we attempt to slap a battery on it and uh, fire it up. All right, so I climbed up here in the cab. It's pretty humble. The floor is pretty much gone. The ceiling is about gone as well, but in the glove box, I found some of the original information. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, um, but it says the engine is a 401. Um, it says the different axle ratios. And uh, I don't know, just shows some pretty cool information. It says rear axle is 17,800. Um, I did find this really old crusty owner's manual, which is kind of cool. I doubt we'd be able to read anything out of it. But it's for gasoline engines from the 4000 to 7000 series. So that's pretty cool literature. Um, extra strength bars leak. I don't know. Squirrels really did a number on this. On this uh, glove box here, there's a little starting fluid from you know the 60s. But 
All right, I'm gonna try to climb back out of this thing without falling through the floor and get some tools out. Ow. Yep. All right, so we got him down there. Is that it? Seems like it. Is that the right size? Yeah. First try, Jesus. I think so. Should we pull the spark plugs first? You could start probably trying if you want. Yeah, that's the right size. I hate to stand on this bumper and then the bumper fall down on you or something. I think that bolt the frame is probably about the only solid thing left. Moment of truth here. Oh, I think you just moved the bolt. Just tighten in that bolt up. Okay. Alright, well let's uh pull the spark plugs, I guess. socket on there when you get down in there you can just use the ratchet oh it's going down I can say she definitely <laughs> went down <sighs> either broke or broke loose nah that was breaking loose because there's still resistance This is still clean. I can hear all the. He, he tuned this up. He told me. He said one of the last things he did was he he, he rebuilt the carb and, and did a tune up on it. Brand new. He's running what, a little rich. He did say. I think he did say. I said he was running rich. Nothing to get bent up about. No. Old champions. Is that him walking down? Okay. I have that. Uh, I threw my long uh, handle uh, 3 8 ratchet in if you want that. Okay. Get a little more leverage. A little more leverage to break them. Yeah. <clears throat> Hope around. What about a longer flathead screwdriver so I can get into that middle one? Uh, and the trees. Yeah, I was dropping pieces of rust off the hood down. My <laughs> <back>. <laughs> I slipped off the damn. Oh. Fishing pole. Yeah, honestly, probably some some bass living in there. I'm sure. Fire that up, would you? <laughs> Sprints. Oh, yeah. Do we want to try to? We got six more to do, so yeah, about that much. 
Do you want to? Five more. Attempt number, spark plug number two. Just lightly thread that back in there to keep shit from going down in there. Probably. It's probably just stick idea. it in there. You probably don't even gotta thread it in. After none of us brought rags, that make too much sense. I did. Oh, look at this. I bought guy. a bag full of rags and a, a box of rags. There you go. Alright, so we attempted to take out some of the spark plugs. You're having an issue. We got one out, but it's hard getting the other ones out. So, judging by using the scope down the first cylinder, it doesn't look bad at all. So, we just hooked up a brand new battery to this thing. We're going to attempt to uh, bump start it and see if we have any type of movement with the engine here. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you can see it's trying to do something, but something is holding it back. Go for it. Go for it. They're wiggling, but it's nothing's... It's like wheeling over. I mean, it is moving. Every, like every rotation, it does go a little further. What do you think? The uh, battery cables are getting warm. <laughs> All right, so that didn't work. I'm gonna try to go back to the breaker bar. Is it, were any of the other pulleys moving? Oh, uh, the generator pulley was wiggling. How's that uh, wrench working for you? I'm sure Ratchet. Get the fuck on <laughs> we may have to keep working at the spark plugs. trying to move. I don't see the belts moving. I don't know. It does not act like it wants to do anything. No. We might have to pull the spark plugs. Keep her going. Yeah. Down here. Turning that bar down there would make it slip enough. They, they could be rusted on there. Because there should, there is metal. There's probably metal in them belts, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe cord. Maybe there's in there. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I wonder if it's corroded so bad. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty corroded. <laughs> Here. Oh, there's that one. Oh, that feels nice. Okay. That's good. That's well, turning. Well, that's, that's turning. That wasn't holding us up. The generator, maybe. Well, that's still got belts on it. I guess we should probably try and leave the generator belts on. No, I, they're all cut. They already. Yeah. It's moving. Yeah, I 
try wheeling it again. Maybe it just was so much resistance with the. I doubt it though. Let's try it. Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. yep. It's Get, going. Yeah, it's going. Oh. I, think I heard the piston making some. Uh, Something squeaking. We should probably keep taking out spark plugs. Probably. <laughs> All right, we just managed to get one more spark plug out uh, over here on this side of the engine. So we're gonna give her another bump, see what happens. Ready? Yep. I think that's the... Uh... That's that's a starter making that noise. Is it? Yeah. Nothing? Nothing. Is it still just going? Yeah. Alright, so we got uh everybody's fingers clear. Hang oh on a second, we're moving some stuff. We officially the other one's still sitting in there too in the front hole. Uh, we officially got three spark plugs out. Um, we're gonna call this one a victory. Like, look at how crusty that guy is. It's a shock we even got the socket on there. But uh, the spark plugs themselves don't look terrible, so that's a bonus. All clear. Go ahead, all clear. <laughs> Sarge not happy. <laughs> it was not happy that time. Give her a couple quick ones. Alright. I guess we'll just have to keep going with the spark plugs. It's got to be just like one dead spot like, you know, one of the rings is hitting or something. Yeah. What? If I go backwards, that'll still move though. Yeah. I would just keep taking it backwards as far as you can go. Ooh. That was a good one. Apparently we should have been doing this the whole time. <laughs> Cause if you go back as far as you can go and then we hit it with the starter and it Oh we got all kinds of What movement. if it's just the starter that's bad? <laughs> yeah, but you can't turn that thing over forwards though, that's the deal. Okay, that must be the hard spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm back. I say and bump it. Okay. See what happens. I mean, I got a big turn out of it there. All right, get your hands clear. Yep, we're clear. It moved. Hold on, Gavin, I'm gonna go back. Yep. All right, so we got the uh, old pipe on the snap-on breaker bar. And uh, bump it some more. we're gonna hit her with the bump, see what happens. Bumping. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she may go now. Give it hell, Gavin. All right, here, bring this, bring this closer because you don't wanna miss it. You don't wanna miss it, folks. Oh, All right, boy. you wanna do the honors of turning it over? What do you say? So am I. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Go grab your Noid light. My Noid light? All right. All right, we gotta grab more tools. Ready? Ready. Oh. 
Nothing. Nothing. Uh, that could just be dirty points because they sat for 50 year, or 15 years. Yeah. Could try to pop off the distributor cover. I mean, she seems to be cranking over now. She seems to be spinning. Not real fast, but... Yeah. All right, so it looks like the points are severely corroded down in there. So we're going to just clean them up quick. If I can reach. Hey, you want to hold on to that? Bet. Might have to re-angle the camera a bit. I wonder if this piece comes off. The rotor? Yeah. Might have like one. That looks. It's I got see. two screws. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, and it, sh it shouldn't matter where. It should sure. only go back on the same way. Yeah. Any good local spots to eat around here? Right? Oh, we got places to eat around here. Not, but you don't got to worry about that. I was thinking the same. The, where I just got that pipe right next to a diner. I was like, hmm. <laughs> Guy leaves us out here for three hours as he eats his. Oh, I was only gone for a couple minutes. <laughs> I even got lost on the way back. Yeah, lost at the diner. Yeah, what is it? We saw the cheesesteak place on the. Google yeah, there. Cheese steak, please. Naysville Hotel? Yo, we got we got spark because I just heard it. Uh, yeah? What um what was the name of that cheesesteak spot, Gary? Oh yeah, buddy. They we have good. strong spark. <laughs> I mean it was a got the, the ether? I'll leave that out of the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 he starts the video dropping the F-bomb. Okay, um, you're gonna give her a little smelling salt or? Yeah. Well, we got spark to the spark plugs. We just threw them back in. We're gonna see what happens when we crank it over. Ready? Yep. yep. Whoa! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> she started. Get ready. He's gonna give her another juice. Go ahead. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Firm, look at the smoke. Uh, oh man. That That's funny. Those, those belts finally broke off though, huh? <laughs> That's funny. That's weird. Yeah, how is that muffler smoking when it's on the ground? It's not connected to anything. Uh, maybe it, maybe it was still off. hanging there? Yeah, it might not have, yeah. <laughs> now it's off. So what do you think? Take a video with my phone first. We gotta do that one more time. So I can send it to my old man. Uh, video. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I saw some, some fire She's coming still out. on fire. As he puts his hand in there. Yeah, use the rag under your arm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess try and start it and see if it'll run off the gas that's in it. That might be what's catching on fire. That's asking a lot out of it. Why is it uh, revving so high? Is I don't it, know. Is the throttle stuck on I it? was holding it wide open before when it started. Let, let, let off? Yeah, it's off. I, I think it's still stuck. Oh, okay. That, you know, makes sense now. Okay. At it, you I know. didn't have the spring on there, so she wasn't returning. I was actually closing it when I thought I was opening it. All right. All right, you ready, boys? Yeah, now we got... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's better. See what happens now. <laughs> Oh. 
unbelievable. Wow. She's alive. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> I'd go get a bottle of gas. Yeah. Like a Smoking. water bottle. And That'll work too. Because I bet this. All right. She's rolling. Go ahead, Rob. <laughs> First gear is not particularly okay. Oh, that felt like it went into something. I think it, it's in something. It's in something. Are you ready? Not really, but go ahead. I was gonna say I was surprised that the guy didn't come down here, but I guess you're saying that he was real old. Yeah, he, he ain't coming down. Mm. Oh, that's something, boys. Okay. I'm just gonna bump it. Yep. Okay. Is the back tire spinning? I don't. Know. Yeah, it's it's that's why he's doing that. I think it's. I was out of gear. I just want to grab it to the moon and try and fucking send it to hell. <laughs>
that's that, boys. Yep. Look beauty. You gotta find someone who wants that or something. Yep. Oh, the visor fell down. <laughs> All right, so we uh, came here with the goal of getting this thing running. That was our primary goal. The second goal was to get it to move. And the third goal was to basically call up the guy that uh, was going to haul it for me and tell him, you know, start heading this way to get it. Uh, we did manage to get it running, as you guys saw. Uh, we had to go through, pull the spark plugs, cut all the belts, um, and do a variety of using a brand new battery to debump the starter and... Uh, a large breaker bar with uh, big old pipes um, we, were, we were able to bust it free and honestly the engine runs pretty well um, we had to clean the part the points to get spark out to the spark plugs um, and we were only able to get four out of the six spark plugs out but dumping Marvel mystery oil in there definitely helped um, the air compressor here it does spin um, it seems like you know that would work um, however, this thing being air brakes, since it's missing the belt, we can't build enough air pressure to actually try to move this thing. Um, and in our attempts to shift it, the uh, shifter not only came out of the floor, but the entire top of the housing um, broke. So, uh, I had to stick a screwdriver in there and figured out the proper combination of pushing pins sideways and moving levers forward and backward to get it back into neutral for us to just start it up there again one last time. But um, our game plan at this point, we're going to see if we can find maybe a local scrapper um, that would want this truck under the agreement that we get to take some of the parts off of it. Uh, I really like this front grill with the headlights bezels and everything and then the gmc logo um you know like the the old license plate and uh you know that'd be a cool wall hanger for the new shop um knowing that the engine works um and that there's a good chance that this air compressor works it would be nice to you know maybe pull the engine it is a v6 big block so a big block six cylinder it is 401 um <laughs> cubic inches and um, the truck itself uh, is rated for 27,000 pounds it has a hundred and eighty two horsepower at 3400 rpm um, so it's a it's a hauling machine I guess you could say um, but just to give you one last glance, um, when we had it running, we built 60 PSI of uh, oil pressure, so that's awesome. Um, here's one thing, like when you turn the steering wheel, the whole steering column's moving. Um, it's not just the steering wheel anymore. Um, so that's, you know, obviously a problem with it. Um, the original build sheet is over there on the glove box. Um, really cool. But I mean, like you can see here, like the, the ceiling is patched. Um, the floor is just completely missing in so many spots. Like I'm, underneath the seat is just gone. Um, so the sheet metal on this stuff is just, it's roached. I mean, it's, 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 it's had a good life. Uh, this is somewhere between you know 63 65 I believe year year date range so um, it's lived a long good life but at this point it's it's time to I think head to the scrapyard with it so anyway if uh, if we are able to find somebody to take this and we are able to take the front clip and some of the the chrome parts off of it like the v6 badges um, You'll definitely see those down the road, probably hung in my shop. But until then, we're going to wrap this up. Um, it's been a fun trip with two of my buddies here. Um, and like I said, we, we were able to get the thing running. So that was a huge accomplishment with the uh, tools that we brought on this road trip. But anyway, uh, it's unfortunate we can't drive it. But I think that's all, all we're going to do on her. So...
There she is.